Is it possible to travel the country on a starting budget of nothing? Let's find out. Good morning, my little chicken nuggets. <laughs> Today is gonna to be a fun day. So yesterday, Phil and I felt like we didn't really give Boise a fair chance with the door dashing. And after our experience with delivering orders and having better luck with shopping orders, we decided that I would take a shot doing it on my own. So I only have an Instacart account anyways. I don't have a DoorDash one. So I'm gonna go out here and see if I can get some really good shopping orders and give Boise a, a second chance. It's currently 11.50. I don't know if you can see that right there. It's 11.50. So it's still not um, as early as maybe we would like it to be, but your girl had to sleep. <laughs> Having a, sleeping in the car in the middle of the cold desert in Burns took a toll on my body the other day. So <laughs> it's nice just to sleep in a warm, cozy bed here in Nampa, Idaho. So. Um, today, I'm gonna go pick up some grocery orders, roll around town for a couple of hours. My goal is to do three or four shopping orders. We'll see if I can get somewhere between like 50 and $80. That sounds like an achievable goal for now. Um, it's a little bit cooler today, so maybe more people will be less willing to go outside and I can shop for them. We will find out. All right, chicken nuggets, let's get breaded. <laughs> All right, so I have driven to Meridian, which is about a 10-ish minute drive, 15 minute drive from Nampa, because um, we had a lot of really good luck in Meridian. It seemed like a nice town, and it's just speaking to me. So I've pulled into an Albertsons parking lot here, and we're just gonna watch the app and see what comes up. So, so far we have one a one shop and deliver order so this means it's just one person one order they have 41 units 11 items but 41 units and there's no tip on this order oh that's so sad so i'm probably not going to take it but i'm just going to sit here and watch the orders come in and figure out which one i want to take my instacart account is a little crusty just because I haven't really been using it back in Reading. Um, but it was showing plenty of orders yesterday while we were double apping. So I'm just going to let it sit here for a second and see what happens. Okay, you guys, it may have just come in <clears throat> this order. 33.20 for 7.9 miles, 58 units. You'll see that it's two shop and delivers. Let's go ahead and click on it. We're moving on to a different Albertsons, but here is all of the items. It's only 58 units. I've seen a lot less money for a lot more units. So I think we should give this a shot. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of driving to deliver it, but oh, and someone else accepted it. We waited too long, that's okay. But that was a really neat order. Let's see if I can get something really similar to that. Dang, Meridian. Okay, I've moved over to Fred Meyer. $11, $7 with a $4 tip, and only 18 units at 3.5 miles. Let's take it. Just finished all the shopping. Did I unlock my car? No. Okay. So I think I'm only five minutes over my shopping time just because the taco seasoning was with the gravy mix instead of <laughs> the rest of the Mexican food. But the customer was so sweet and understanding. He was like, yeah, you should check the gravy mix. It's usually not where it says it is. Uh, and I, there was all kinds of gravy or taco seasonings in that area. So I was like, thank you. <laughs> I was like, sorry, I don't mean to tell you how to do your job, but 
Um, I thought it was very sweet because, whew. All right, so on to the delivery. So we just delivered our second order, a big old bag of dog food, and there were some hungry sounding dogs in there. Uh, so far we've made $21.22, but now we're in a different part of the city, a little bit north of Meridian, and still no batches. So I feel like yesterday when we were out door dashing, we didn't really miss too much early on in the morning. So maybe the morning time really isn't as bustling as we would have liked, but it is Tuesday. I think Phil and I have plans for dinner around 6.30, so that gives me three hours to keep Instacarting, rolling around town. I think there might be a half price books in this city too, so you already know that I want to hit that place up, so. <laughs> Hey guys, so I was driving and a few orders were popping up on the screen. There was like a $47 order for Boise Co-op. Uh, there weren't that many items and it wasn't very far, but it was gone before I could even click on it and see what was in that order. So I didn't get to take that one, but I did take a $17 Michaels order, which I've never picked up Michaels before with Instacart. Only like 14 items, 3.4 miles. I was like, sure why not let's give it a shot because i was driving right by so here we go into michael's Woo! for help at Michael's because we didn't have all of the exact items that I needed and I needed help finding some stuff but it went fairly well I think for a craft store order I'm feeling pretty good about it all right we just delivered those Michael's art supplies so now these are our options today even though this one is $21 for 17 miles it's actually taking us to Nampa at some point which is where our hotel is so I kind of like the idea of that, but I really wanted to go to Half Price Books. I really only need $12 to reach my $50 goal, and that would be my fourth order. So whatever this next one is, it might be my last. You guys, maybe I'm just too hesitant, but I keep watching these things come on here and I'm like, oh, maybe I'll take it, maybe I won't. And I look at it and look at it and I watch the boost get add to it and then it just disappears before I decide whether I want to take it or not. <sighs> How do you guys make quick decisions? Because I like to weigh everything out and it's losing me money. I know if Phil were here, he'd be like, yes, that one, yes, that one. Because um, he's just really good at making decisions, but I don't know. Let's, let's see. Oh, we got a $14 order. What is this? Well, we're going 4.6 miles, 1440. Uh, yeah, let's do it because we're already here. <sighs> Finally, you guys have seen me accept an order. <laughs> I'm gonna pull up a little bit closer to the store and get shopping. <laughs> dropped off my fourth and final order. Yay, we did it, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> All right, so I did four orders today. I worked um, maybe like three hours just because we started at 12, but I took like an hour 
maybe a little bit more detour to kind of like go shopping and I wasn't really thrilled with the orders so I didn't take them. Of course I could have if I wasn't trying to just leisurely make my way through Meridian so I think it was possible to make some more money um, but that just wasn't my plan today. So in total today I made $52.62. So I definitely reached my goal of 50 to $80, and I'm feeling really pleased with that. Some things that I would note about Boise is that, or Meridian, is that there's a lot of flatland out here, and then there are mountain ranges. But the flatland part kind of reminds me of Oklahoma. So all of the streets are kind of like in a grid pattern, I suppose. So and they're massive streets, like three lanes on both sides, and the traffic lights take forever. So I don't blame some of these people for <laughs> for not wanting to go back out there um, into the world. Also, I would note, just like pretty much any place else, it didn't really pick up until after 3.30 or so, which is about when school gets out. So I can definitely see that as being a more popular time to go pick up people's groceries and whatnot. Other than that, a little extra tip out there uh, for Instacarters, it was a lot easier than I thought to check out at certain stores because I know for DoorDash sometimes you have to go through the checkout line you have to talk to like a, a, an employee there and have them scan certain things but because Instacart lets you scan your codes to make it an Instacart order I got to jump into the self-serve checkout line which was so great because I was totally catfished by a checkout line today <laughs> on that last order I got behind someone with look like a small cart and this uh mom out of nowhere came up behind me with a basket so full of groceries you couldn't even see the bottom of them and joined the man in front of me and I was just like oh no <laughs> I got ice cream I gotta get out of here <laughs> so I just snuck over to the self-checkout and asked if I could use it as an instacart shopper and they're like yeah of course you can <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> so that definitely shaved down my shopping time. Other than that, I really enjoyed my time here in Boise today. Made $52, feeling pretty good about myself. Um, it might be time to head back to the hotel as much as I really wanna go to Half Price Books. I don't wanna miss dinner with my husband. That really is more important to me to eat with him and see how he's doing. So thanks for shopping today with me, little chicken nuggets. <laughs> it was so fun to get breaded with you. See you next time. Bye.